<clears throat> okay, so here it is today, May 10th, 2024, here in Kamloops, BC. This is probably the hottest place I've ever been in the world. Mexico, Cuba, Fiji, all those other places. No, this is the hottest place I've ever been in the world. I saved these trees a couple years ago when Lytton burnt down. Now Wayne is helping me out over there, trying to save these trees. So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a brave new world. So, I, uh, I had the deer attacking my flowers the other day. I just bought these on sale for a few bucks at General Grants. Put uh, cinnamon and and uh, cloves on the outskirts to repel them more. And my alarm is set up, but these deer are pests. What's going on over there? I don't know what this guy is up to. Why are there so many different vehicles over there every day? I don't get it. I wanted to hike up to the top of that mountain, Mount Peter, Mount Paul next to it, and then Strawberry Hill. There's a lot of homeless living up there right now. They didn't have that in Indonesia. They don't drink, they don't do drugs. 300 million, they all get along. How come we can't do that here? So, uh, well, these are fake, but even my mom did that. She said, who cares? They look nice. But the deer ate all my tulips again this year, even through the mesh. Pray to the gods. Even that didn't work. The deer repellent. I put up my seven foot fence, so that should increase my property value. Corn's coming up. Beans will be coming up soon. Parsley's doing well. Rhubarb's doing well. And I got some more Swiss chard. Oh, I grew some big corn and Swiss chard in Nanton with all the compost from the mushroom farm. Best job I ever had working with Vietnamese. Everybody said, ah, those Vietnamese, they're kind of temperamental. No, they weren't. And then I got a better job welding. For 12 years welded. Now my back is suffering for it. But So this is my... How the heck did you get outside your cage? Uh-oh. He's a smart bird. How, how did you get outside of your cage? He must have crawled under here. Oh, that's what he did. He crawled under here. Okay, so this is Bobby. He's almost 10. He turned nine, 18 in human years. And he's, I just taught him to say hi. He says, hi, Bobby. Hey, you. Hey, Bobby. Hey, you, Bobby. Hey you, Bobby. Wow. Wow. I guess he crawled from underneath here. But anyways, uh, I got my slingshot ready for the deer. And uh, these are all the birds of BC. And uh, I'm going to give him a bath. I'll be right back. Get back in your cage. Come on, you got me worried. There you go. Stay in there. I'm going to lose you. 
whatever gets on the roof of my house, I'm in big trouble. So, huh. Did many jigsaw puzzles in COVID. Here's the back. Got that in Harrison Hot Springs. Great times. So I got a few things set up here. Uh, King Arthur's Court and the Round Table, and there's me next year. So this is what I got set up for him. I'm giving him a taste sensation. And uh, I got all my antiques and stuff set up in the back of my truck. I got some valuables I could probably get a few thousand for, but uh, all the places in Kamloops have shut down. Got to go to Vernon or uh, Barrier. So going down the line here, I'm going to see what he goes for. I'm going to place him in the middle of all this. So. Oh. And then this too. Uh, I, uh, I put hot water on the sausage. It could be too fatty for him. Birds don't like fat. You give him an avocado and he'll die. Um, but anyways. Um, watercolors. I used to do that when I was a kid. Burning incense. Another antique from the 60s. And things that people left behind. So. Um, who knows what's in the future for any of us. It's a brave new world. But. Bobby, I'm giving him the opportunity to do a taste sensation. So we got Miss Vicky's chips, Spiracha Lime Protein Crisps, Cassava Chips, uh, Cranberry Black Cherry Juice, Pineapple Juice, Deli Sink with Vitamin C, Five Alive, and Lime Juice, and W Pot, uh, um, Saskatoon jam, uh, butterscotch, and homemade apricot jam. I got off my trees. Um, spinach, olives, celery, chicken. I've seen him eat chicken before. I don't know how he can eat one of his cousins. Wild rice, raw potato. Um, blackberries he loves. Blueberries he loves. But he doesn't like strawberries. Or bananas. That's strange because he's from South America. Um, ginger. Um, a pepper. Ag uh, not agave. Um, aloe vera. The magic plant healer. Two, two different kinds of pickles. Peas. Uh, sourdough bread. Cheese bread. Salt and pepper crackers, uh, wheat thins. Uh, he likes these. Um, Premium plus. Uh, dinner crackers. Yeah, Cheez Its. And uh, uh, fennel is supposed to be really good for you. So here's all the seeds and uh, grains. I got uh, chia seeds, shredded wheat, sesame seeds, millet he loves, homemade pumpkin seeds, extra salted sunflower seeds, fennel, Weetabix, and shortbread. Here's all the vinegars. I was told that I should dilute all of these. So I'm gonna see if he likes vinegar. Um, regular vinegar, balsamic vinegar, apple cider vinegar, balsamic vinegar here, and balsamic glaze, black mission fig, 
and diluted maple syrup. Three different kinds of corn here and some vegetable root I got from the African store. Enoch, he just had triplets. He must be busy. He's got five kids now. And here's some cucumbers and uh, lettuce that was soaking in vinegar for a salad. And who knows? He might even like these spices. Coffee, tea bowl, instant, and, and the other coffee from Starbucks and uh, bergamot root, um, twinings tea, jasmine, chamomile, uh, let's see what he goes for. Then I got, he loves apples, only two kinds, ambrosia and macintosh, he doesn't touch the rest. Pear, lemon, uh, nectarine, big um, bits and bites, my mom used to make those in the 60s, bits and bites. More uh, blackberries and blueberries. Uh, chicken. Leftover pizza. Sailfish. Goat meat. Um, uh, yeah, french fries, turkey, and what's this? Oh, and steak. I've seen him eat meat on occasion, but he's primarily herb herbivorous, but he is omnivorous. Um, and then here I got a concoction that I cooked up. It's a mixture of black beans, navy beans, and tapioca. Let's see if he will even eat a raw potato, or lettuce, or noodles, oodles and noodles, and uh, celery, onions, carrot, seaweed, radish, uh, oodles of noodles, and I know he likes chicken. Some people just eat chicken and peas. So here's my fish plate. And I've seen him eat sardines before. And there's lobster pate. That's called rockfish. That wasn't too bad. Shrimp. Uh, lobster flavored pollock. And tuna. And then I got escargot here to go. But I'm not putting butter on it yet. Because that could be too fatty for him. So. Well. That's the first installment. And. Stay away from this. I can't handle this at all. Garlic powder and onion salt. I get sick whenever I have that. And they put it in everything. It makes me sick. But. Um, as far as the other spices are concerned. I don't know where I got these from. Pickling spice and saffron is expensive flavor explosion Chinese five blend and curry so I'm gonna put this out for him as well this is from the garden this is sage that I had growing last year and uh, what do I got here I got uh, cloves Five ground pepper, ground nutmeg, cilantro leaves, an African spice I got in Calgary, dillweed, basil, Italian seasoning, oregano, turmeric, rosemary, cumin, thyme, chili, crushed red pepper, white pepper, bay leaves, and cayenne. So, uh, that's what I did.
Me and my dad used to make model airplanes when I was a kid. I'm almost done. So it's 31 degrees already. 31 degrees. Hotter than Hawaii already. May the 10th. Yeah, someday I'll figure out all the puzzle pieces. But I have several friends around here, which is good. So, I planted some more cayenne peppers around my flowers. Hopefully the deer don't come in here tonight. And Bobby's coming out. He's going to do the Mission Impossible and have his bath today. Right, Bobby? And you're going to have a taste sensation. Hey, you. Hey, you, Bobby. Hey, Bobby. Hey, Bobby. Hey, Bobby. Hey, Bobby. Oh, there's, there's wasps coming out already. I got, oh, I got to fill up my bird feeder. Lots of nice birds coming around here. Then he can talk to his girlfriend, Sally the Sparrow. So, without further ado, I will bid you adieu.